Hey guys, so I absolutely love watching what's in my bag videos, they're my favourite thing to watch on YouTube. I must go through quite a lot of them a month. And I did one myself a few months ago, it's probably back in October-ish, November time. And since then I have got a new bag, so I thought it would be a brilliant excuse to do a new What's In My Bag video. So I do like to carry around my entire life in my handbag, and therefore it is extremely heavy. I've actually just strained my arm trying to take the thumbnail shot for this video. So this is my bag, and before you all gasp and have, oh no she didn't moments, no it's not real, it's just from eBay. It's a Celine, I don't like to say the word knockoff, it's an imitation Celine. In my last What's In My Bag video, I kind of had a bit of a clear out of it before I filmed it, got rid of loads of old receipts and things that shouldn't have been in there. So you saw a pretty kind of like pristine version of my handbag. Whereas this time, I haven't done any of that. This is literally what was in there, what has been in there all week. So let's have a look. So probably the most important thing in here to me is my phone. This is just an iPhone 5 and I am completely in love with this phone case. My amazingly talented friend Nicola made this for me. She has her own business. She's She's done phone cases for kind of all sorts of celebrities and things. She's quite fancy. Um, but it's a kind of I don't know, like Baroque kind of like jacquard effect and it's got Swarovski kind of stones all over it and it is just absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in it but it's so super glittery and I love that. I've got my iPad in here and I don't usually carry it around in my bag just for fear of it getting lost or broken or stolen or something like that. Um, but I had a few hours to kill yesterday so I thought I'd just bring it along to kind of do a bit of vlogging, catch up on some reading, playing a few games because I am a child can't go wrong with a bit of Candy Crush. This is actually just a white iPad mini if you're interested. I got this for Christmas and I can't thank my amazing family enough for actually buying it for me. I'm so, so lucky. But I just absolutely love this. This is all you ever see now when I'm at home. It's just glued to my face. Got a bit more technology in here as well. This is my Kindle which I carry around in this sort of... I don't think it is Cath Kidson, but it's like a Cath Kidson inspired case I got from Etsy. And um, it's in another little case as well for extra protection. And yet again, it is out of battery. Whenever I seem to show my Kindle on videos, it's always out of battery. I guess I just read it quite often. For anyone interested, I'm actually reading The Great Gatsby at the moment, and I'm trying to get through it before the film comes out. I always like to read a book before they make a film of it. Um, but I actually studied it in college, I did it in my English literature class, and it made me absolutely loathe it. I think all the books that I studied there, you have to just go through them and analyse them so much, you just end up hating them in the end, so it's quite a struggle to get through that at the moment. I've got my purse in here, and this is just one from Primark, it's super battered, it has pen, ink, stuff all over it. Um, yeah, it's just a super cheap one, and it has little skull studs on it. I've also got a Cat Kids and Little Travel thing, which I keep my... Kind of like any train tickets, my ID and stuff like that in. I've actually got a shopping bag in here that I have completely forgotten about. Quick little insight into how I actually spend my lunch breaks. Let's do a little mini haul, why not? I picked up the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation and it was on buy get on half price so I got the Photo Ready um, Cream Blush and this is in the colour Pinched. I actually bought those two from Boots and therefore have a £5 number 7 voucher. And then obviously I went to Superdrug and I got some hand soap. This is an original source of shea butter and honey. Not particularly exciting. And last of all, I got two Tresemme Platinum Strength Shots. And I didn't know that these were available because I saw the whole range of Boots and they didn't have these. But I was just in Superdrug on a whim. I don't usually go there. Um, but they had these so I picked up two. They're only about £1.50 I think. But I've heard super good things about these so I can't wait to try those out. Also from my lunch break I have a leftover half drunken bottle of Shapers water bit. These are Boots's kind of rip-offs of the vitamin waters and I am addicted to this flavour. I absolutely love it. It's the Elderflower and Lime um, Still Spring Water and it is amazing. I buy one of these every single day. I also have an apple. I do actually have a few beauty things in here. Um, so these are things in the front pocket of my bag that I kind of reach for quite a lot. So I've got the NYX Rev de Mille lip balm in a stick, which is really handy. And I've also got the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream hand cream, which I love. I just got a little Christmas edition which was on sale, uh, but it's the nicest hand cream. I've got a Soap and Glory handmade sanitising gel, which I think has been in this bag since my last video. A mirror, because obviously the most important thing to have in a handbag. I've got some hair things here too. I don't usually carry around hair products, but my hair's been a bit unruly recently. So I've got a comb to comb it obviously. I've got a little Batiste dry shampoo, this is the original one and I usually always buy the tropical but I picked this up because I think wherever I bought it was out of stock of that one and I love it, it's just the original one so it just smells pretty 
normal, it's kind of like a clean soapy smell, but I prefer this one now to all the other flavours. I always lose the lids to everything, it really annoys me, but the lids are never in the bottom of my bag, I don't know where they end up. Um, yes, I've got a Tresemme hairspray here, this is the Salon Finish Extra Hold, which I always use, my favourite hairspray ever, and a back comb in a bottle, just because. I've been a bit poorly recently, so I've got my absolute kind of like sore throat saver in here and it's the Cavonia throat spray and this stuff is amazing I always buy this when I'm poorly if I have a sore throat if I have a cold if anything is wrong in this kind of area this fixes it sunglasses because it was sunny for a few days but now it's raining these are from Top Shop I've got my eyebrow in here which is super old I used to listen to music on my phone but I found this in a drawer um, a few months ago and I just started using it because it's a bit easier than actually putting all my music on my phone which has no space um, and I had this probably when I was in college I got this it's inscribed with a message from an old boyfriend but we won't talk about that and last but not least I've got this little bag of goodies here and this is a slightly more exciting part because this is all my makeup that I carry around um, this is just a little Chloe purse that I actually got free with a perfume um, so I'm not sure where you can buy it quite a lot of people have asked me before where I got it but I just got it free so in the front I've got a little Travelo perfume um, holder. This is one of the things that you kind of pump your perfume into you so you don't have to carry around a big glass bottle of it. And I've got Miss Dior Shireen here, which I absolutely love. It's such a sweet kind of perfume, which I really like wearing in spring. I've also got a little hair rescue kit in here, so I've got a hairband and some bobby pins. I have one of these like curly curvy grips, which are just incredible. If you put your hair up into like a big bun and it tends to like fall down quite a lot, you just sort of screw this into it and it it just holds it in place, these are really helpful. So inside I've got a little nail varnish, because you never know when you might need to paint your nails. And this is Shiate's mini one. This is one of the polishes from my Shiate advent cans that I had at Christmas. This is in the colour Cutie Pie, it's just like a neutral sort of pink tone. And I've also got a cuticle oil in here, that's the OPI Avoplex one. I've got a few makeup bits. I don't like to carry around a full face of makeup because I'm quite lazy and I never actually top my makeup up throughout the day but I've got the essentials so I've got concealer here if anything kind of pops out that I want to hide away. This is a bourgeois healthy mix one. I'm not sure how I feel about this concealer. It's quite raved about but I don't really like the consistency of it. It's quite matte for a concealer but I do like to carry it around just for touch ups. I've got a liquid liner in here which is ooh, collections extreme 24 hour felt tip liner. I've got number 7 eyebrow pencil in here which is the absolute perfect shade for my brows so I always stock up on these. It's in the colour brown. Mascara from Clinique which is Lash Power and I've got some lip products in here too so I always carry around a nude lipstick and a more colourful lipstick. So this is Top Shop's Whimsical just in case I want to put on quite a nudey coloured lip and then I've got Max lip pencil um, in Lasting Sensation. I don't know if that's the colour or the name of the pencil but it's kind of like an orangey one. And Topshop's Louise Gray's Mexican Wave, and this is the brightest orange lipstick ever, so um, that liner goes really well with the lipstick, so I can either have a bright lip or a nude one. And last of all, very last thing that I have is a pair of tweezers, because they always come in handy. So that is everything in my bag, and if you could see the table that I've just put all this stuff onto, you'd be shocked at the amount of things I actually managed to fit in there. I don't know how I carry this around every day, but at least I'm prepared for any situation. Thanks so much for watching that guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've made it this far, well done, and I will see you all soon.